So let's talk about that uh, ghost pedaling. Um, I know everybody that gets out there, especially on the expeditions, um, these things fly right along if you get them in, you know, past three and up. Um, so you get out there and I don't know, 23 miles an hour, you're pedaling like a madman. Uh, you're not really putting in any effort. Um, you can maybe feel a little bit resistance, but I mean, by the time you hit 25, it's gone. You're not pedaling anymore. So, but he calls it ghost pedaling. I've heard chicken pedaling. I've, uh, you know, different things. So this is what everybody goes out and buys. So, um, this is a free wheel. This is brand new. This is actually going on to my X premium because I want to replace it. Um, it has a, a, uh, a larger gear for the low end. Um, and I want that, that larger gear for the low end. So everybody replaces this to try to get rid of ghost pedaling. But here's the facts. This has an 11 tooth on the bottom. That 11 tooth is as small a gear as I know exists out there. I mean, if you look at the size of it in relationship to the, uh, the hole, you can't get any smaller. It's all the way down there. The uh, Expedition, um, I, I think all of them come with this gear on this. So you've already got the smallest gear you could possibly get on it. So when you're, when you're um, going slow and you're trying to get up a hill, you want to be on this top gear. When you're trying to go fast, you're on this bottom gear here. So changing this is not doing anything. Um, people that are changing it and think that they're fixing their bike, um, I don't know why it would fix it, but it's not. Um, so here's the big secret that no one seems to talk about. So this here is the uh, crank, obviously. Um, and it goes through the, the, the the bike and well like this and you pedal well for a bike I mean these things are essentially um, emulating mountain bike type things um, you would never find a 52 tooth gear uh, crank gear on a mountain bike they're always much smaller because you need that smaller gear so that it's easier to pedal when you're going through the woods up the hills um, so you'd be in the, in, it's, you, you know, you, you, if you're mountain biking in the woods, you're probably down on these lower gears. You're not up in the, to the higher gears. Um, so this 52 tooth is pretty aggressive to start with. And it's because they're electric bikes that they put these on, I would imagine. Um, but I don't think it's enough. Um, they um, make them up to a 60 tooth that you can buy on Amazon or anywhere else. Um, I know I always say Amazon because I always buy from there, but um, I don't get anything from Amazon, so uh, I don't care where you get it from. But this um, outside piece that keeps your pants from getting stuck in the, in the, the uh, chain and the, the, the uh, gear here, um, I could only find one with this on it in a 58 tooth. So I have um, changed it out to a 58 tooth. It has greatly improved my overall speed uh, at 25 miles an hour. So if I went on a ride, the computer at the end would say I average 17, 18 miles an hour. When I go out on that same ride now, when I get back, my average is about 22 miles an hour. So I have picked up quite a bit on that pedal. I can hit 25 miles an hour and I've still got pedal left. I can probably bring it up to 30 and then I'm starting to do what I was doing before with the ghost pedaling. So you're not going to get much more out of it, but your motor kicks out at 28 miles an hour anyway. So you're on your own at that point. So, I mean, really you're only concerned with getting the 28 with a pedal. You're going to do it if you change it over to the uh, 58 tooth, like I recommend. To do that, you're going to need a uh, tool kit that is available. They're, these are all cheap money. I'm, I'm surprised how cheap all these tools are um, that you buy on Amazon for the bikes. But hey, it's a good thing they're cheap. So um, 
it honestly you buy this thing it's a like 55 dollars 56 something like that um you gotta buy this kit this tool kit I, and i want to say this tool kit's 20 dollars or under it's not a lot of money um i actually did to to get the pedals off um the ones that i had on it i had to grind this a little bit so it would fit in between it i had different pedals on than this this is the electric pedals where you they go in and move, you know, fold up. Um, I had a different pedal on it. And um, so there's a, 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 an Allen screw in the middle of this that you gotta take out. So they give you the tool to take that out. And when, once you get that out of there, this tool here goes into this. And then you put this in. But I'm gonna tell you right now, Take this wrench and stick it on here first and then thread this thing in. So it's not going to bottom up because it's not hitting. So it's going to, it's going to hit the shaft going through. And once you do that, then you're going to move this to here and you're going to tighten it more. So this is why you have the wrench on here. And as you tighten it, it's going to pull it right off. Um, you do it on both sides. The other side, which is this pedal pot, same way. That's off. Put the new one on, and then you just bolt it down. Piece of cake. So I'm going to take you over and show you what it looks like. I'm going to jump over to uh, my portable GoPro here. Yeah. This side here, that's that bolt I was talking about, that Allen wrench bolt. So here is that uh, 58 tooth sprocket that I put on um, crank. And, um, you know, it, it looks very similar to the other one. It's bigger. Um, the chain, you'll have to add about another 10 inches onto the chain, believe it or not. Um, it, uh, but it makes a big difference. Um, if you put this thing on, I promise, you're going to be happy with it if you're worried about ghost pedaling. If you're not ghost pedaling, then don't even bother. You know, what comes on the bike is fine. But I like to, to fly along on this bike. This bike is my uh, street bike. I do take it on the rail trail, um, but I like to crank, so I want that, that tall gear in the front.